Hey everyone, my name is Kat and this is Corpse Factory. Welcome back. Yes, you guessed it. Corpse Factory was the winner of the latest poll that I ran for Cad Screams. As you know, I picked up four games. I played a bit of them, asked you guys to vote and... Well, asked my patrons to vote and you guys voted and Corpse Factory was the winner. Which, uh, you know, I'm kind of really glad about because uh, this one seems so intriguing. I love these uh, sort of story type games. I don't even know what this... Uh, you know, type of genre or type of s storytelling or, you know, you know, I I'm not sure what it's called. Uh, like with Doki Doki, I don't pick up a lot of these types of games, um, but I would like to play more. So absolutely hit me up in the comments if you have other suggestions. Doesn't matter what the genre is. I really want to check out some more of these. They look so cool. I love these uh, story ones. Um, if there are any that, you know, you can sort of dictate the paths, uh, you know, where you're going. That'd be awesome, like, uh, you know, choice-based ones. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, hit me up in the comments if you have any other suggestions for this type of game. Uh, yeah, so I, I can't wait to jump in. I thought we'd start again, we'd do a new game rather than continue on. Uh, because it actually has been a while since I picked this up, or since I played, uh, you know, the demo or whatever. Uh, it's been a few weeks, so I thought it'd be good to refresh my memory. So why don't we jump in a new game? I want to thank my patrons for voting. Thank you guys so much. And if you want to become a patron yourself, check out the link in the description below. All right, let's let's fucking jump in. Let's go new game. Let's go. <sighs> yeah, it has been a few weeks. I've been I've been recording in advance, so um, yeah. I've got the trusty heart rate monitor. I don't know if we're gonna need it for this game. Um, it seems to have a lot of dark elements, but I don't know if we're going to get a lot of, like, jump scares or too many, like, um, typical horror elements that you might get in, you know, a sort of a, uh, most horror genre games. Um, I don't know. Well, uh, Doki Doki did. Doki Doki had some, like, jump scares and stuff a bit. Had some weird shit in that, so maybe we'll go into that territory. I don't know, but I can't wait. Anyway, so guys, let's read. I know those bitches have been talking about me behind my back. That's right. They flash those fake smiles when I walk past. They wave half-heartedly half and say things like, Oh, hi, Amy. Or, you're the only one brave enough to pull off that look. Oh my god, I really hate those comments. I hate those comments. <sighs> god. Do you guys ever hear anything like that? Hit me up in the comments and let me know. Tell me about your, your past trauma being bullied in high school or whatever. I want to know. <laughs> They're all two-faced lying assholes. I hate each and every one of them. Amano Sachko, I think that's how you pronounce it, Kuwasawa. Just look at them. Everything about them is fake. Fake lips, fake nails, fake smiles, fake personalities. Do they actually have, have fake lips? Fake nails, I guess, probably. Fake smiles, yeah. Fake personalities. Um, I mean, fake personalities, that's, that's, that's a kind of common thing, right? Everyone's kind of two-faced in a way, where we're putting on a persona or putting on a mask, you know, we're not always the real us in real life all the time, you know, we'll have a, a work version of us and we'll have a home version of us, we'll have one with friends and family and with our partner or whatever, we're not always our true selves, are we? So, whatever. Is this getting too deep? Not deep enough, Cad. Let's go further. <laughs> Look, I'll be the first one to admit that I'm a fake bitch too. There we go. Yep. But even I know I'm not as bad as them. I'm not horrible to every person I meet. Just the ones I don't like. Ugh. It's not fair that I have to work with them. I just wanted a part-time job. Something breezy and casual. Well, we know what's coming, right? <laughs> don't have to worry about working with them. Very soon. <laughs> How was I supposed to know these delinquents would obsess over tormenting me? That's right, like, I was I was kind of thrown by the use of the word delinquent, but uh, at least one of them, I think, we established was a criminal or had had spent time in prison. I don't know if that's like an exaggeration or if it is true. Amano is unbearable, but probably the least terrible of the three. She's a year younger than me and acts like she's some famous pop idol. But she's a dropout, just like me, working in this dead-end part-time job just so her parents don't kick her out of their house. Um, yeah, I mean, that's kind of common too for a lot of people, right? And that's pretty sad that... So her parents don't kick her out. Are they saying that parents don't kick her out? I don't know. Because I, I hear a lot of parents are like, 
Alright, once you turn 18, you're out the door, sort of thing, or whatever. I can't remember how old she... Did they say how old Omana is? I don't know. I feel like that's kind of unfair to say. I think we're in the same position, though, aren't we? I don't know. Where, where, yeah, we're a dropout. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of unfair to say. And kind of shitty of the parents if they're like, we're going to kick you out. She spends her evenings singing at underground bars and hanging out with shady talent agents who swear they can promote her and make her the next big pop star. That's her choice if she wants to do that. I feel like, I said, I said this before in the last, uh, last time I was playing this, like, she's just so fucking judgy. We. We. We are so fucking judgy. Emmy? Um, yeah. She gets taken advantage of time and time again, but never seems to learn her lesson. Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna defend this person. I know, I know she's horrible. I know she does something horrible later on, but I'm gonna defend her because she she can't defend herself right now. Okay, um, it's not fair to say this sort of shit or to think this sort of shit. I I'm assuming she actually says it, given uh, how they treat us later on. <laughs> she must be saying this aloud. <laughs> That's, yeah, that's her mistakes. That's her life, okay? So some people have got to hit rock bottom before they realize something. I've been there. I've made mistakes time and time again. Or, you know, I don't realize something I've done or something that I'm going through is wrong for me. I, I just keep making the same mistake over and over. And, you know, it, it takes, like, hitting bottom or, you know, for someone else to actually say it to you before you realize that, you've been doing something wrong or you're living something the wrong way or you're being taken advantage of like some people just they're blind to it you know yeah sorry <laughs> Suchko is the kind of straight oh wait hang on that reminds me I'm gonna take notes what's this oh that's my pay slip doesn't matter I can write on it all right uh girl okay we're doing the tally okay guys <laughs> girl one Okay, kind of straight-laced girl you see at every school studying her ass off to earn her parents' approval. Hey, yeah, I get that. I've been there. Um, yeah, I've been there. Trying to win my parents' approval. We're so fucking bitchy. Oh my god. <laughs> the type of girl. Hang on. Two. That always has the best grades but never really has any friends. Oh, okay. No, I didn't have the best grades and I didn't have any friends. <laughs> She's the kind of girl. That's fucking three times. Why is it highlighted? I don't understand. I feel like we're going to get quizzed on this later or something. Kind of girl that graduates, then the reality of the real world knocks her on her ass and she realizes she actually has no clue what she's doing, just like the rest of us. Are we Are we just fucking projecting? Like, honestly. It, it seems like we're projecting. We're being a real asshole. So she settles for the first crappy job she can find and then suddenly it's three years later and she's still slaving away. The asshole manages just to make ends meet. It feels like we hate these people because they're a reflection of us because we see ourselves in them and we hate that. It, that's, that's what I'm getting here. Instead of being humbled by her station in life, Sachko decides to take her anger out of everyone around her. I've seen her slap customers out of frustration. Well, you know what? In the Considering the direction that this game is going in, we're going to get like some death note type powers and we're going to be able to kill people or we're going to be able to instruct someone to kill people on our behalf like how are we any different well they i don't think they've murdered anyone but we are likely to murder someone considering where this is going so i mean we're going to be pissed off by what life has thrown at us and we're going to murder people so honestly rumor has it that she strangled her boss on one occasion apparently he's too afraid you mean the guy with the ugly ass tie that we see later I don't blame him. I'm afraid of her too. And then there's Kuwasawa. I could write an entire... Oh yeah, I got the hots for her. That's right. I could write an entire blog on all the things I hate about her. She's pretty, but she's very aware of it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that bad? Being aware that you're pretty? I don't know. Is it better to be pretty and unaware of it? Or pretty and aware of it? Like, if you're pretty but you think you're ugly, like, is that better than being pretty and aware that you're pretty? Like, I, I don't know. She seems to have a new sugar daddy every few weeks. Some poor old fool that she strings along and milks dry. Once again, I said this last time too. Look, that's, 
Um, I feel like the sugar daddy is probably the one taking advantage of her. I don't know how old she is. I think that she's, um, she's not a minor, right? I think we said that she graduated high school or something and that all her friends were still in high school or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm pretty sure the sugar daddy is the one taking advantage, right? Um, because from what I understand of like sugar daddies, they're probably very likely to move on to someone else. Um, it says, well, we have, have a new sugar daddy every few weeks. Is that because, I don't know. They probably got sick of her. I, I'm sorry, I can't help but defend these people because I, I really hate this kind of shit. I really hate um, people like bitching about other people uh, behind their backs and they got no means to defend themselves and we don't know anything about these people. We're taking everything here at face value. Um, or at least that maybe that's what the game wants us to do. Um, I don't like doing that. I try to do that in other games as well. Um, when, you know, we're presented a character and maybe other characters are saying, oh, they're awful or whatever, and, like, I can't take it just at face value. I have to dissect it myself. I have to see that they are a bad character. Um, I have to see who they really are first before I can make any judgments. So, I mean, we, we know that these, these, uh, girls, these women, you know, do something really awful later on, but still, like, I, I can't help but defend them, uh, at the moment at least. She must be nearing 30. Oh, okay. Is she nearing 30? Or are we being an asshole again? I don't know. <laughs> but all her friends are still in senior high school. It's more than a little weird. I still don't understand what that means. Can you guys hit me up in the comments? Does that mean that... Because um, she's nearing 30, or at least we're saying that. Are we suggesting that all her friends whom she went to high school with never graduated and they're stuck there or that she's friends with a lot of people who are like 18 years old and younger i don't know sorry <laughs> they hang out around the train station bullying homeless people and shoplifting from the convenience store i'm pretty certain that she's done time once or twice yeah bullying is shit so kiwasawa is just an all-round terrible person she makes amano and sachiko look like saints in comparison um, to be honest, like, the worst that she's done by what we've just said is, like, bullying homeless people. Um, I'm not sure why she's stealing or why her gang is stealing from convenience stores. Maybe that's out of desperation. Um, but it seems that, uh, Sachko is probably the worst of them, considering she strangled her boss and, or has slapped him or something like that. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a worse group of co-workers. Finally, there's me. Oh, we're a saint. Emmy? Katsuno? 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 University dropout. Part-time cashier. Oh, what were we studying? I'm curious. Part-time cashier and up to my ears in debt. What kind of debt are we talking about? university debt i live in a small apartment in a bad neighborhood just to keep my head above water i've still got university debt oh fuck i'm never gonna pay off hex i swear to god my apartment building is filled with deadbeats loan sharks junkies perverts you name it name is highlighted i'm gonna i'm gonna and you know what just for the fun of it i'm gonna note what color it was too <laughs> So purple for the word girl, orange for the word name. Is this pointless? I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments, okay? By the time someone does tell me in the comments, I'll probably have finished the game already. <laughs> By some miracle, I managed to snatch up the best apartment in the worst building. Although the place is nice, the rent is questionably low, I'm fully expecting the landlord to wander in one day and demand more money. Or murder me. Ooh, I wonder if, if there's someone will murder the landlord. Ooh. I'm constantly worried about money, worried about my safety, worried about what the hell I'm supposed to be doing with my life. As I said, we've all been there. We, we I, I'm sure we're all still there, right? Do you guys know what you're doing in life? Do you, do you still think about like what you're gonna do when you're older? Cause I still think about that and I'm an adult, you know, probably should have already figured it out. As if it wasn't bad enough, I have to work four days a week, four days. Oh, with the three worst girls, four days is awful. Okay, girls. One. And that's in purple. You guys are, like, cringing right now, aren't you? <laughs> Today's no different from any other day. Oh, it so is different. Amato greets me at the door. Her dis 
disgustingly puffy and pouty lips pulled back in a half snarl, half smile. Puffy and pouty because of the whole fake lips comment. I can smell the sickly sweet scent of too much lip gloss from 10 feet. I hate lip gloss. Like, the, the sticky lip gloss. The, the sticky lip gloss. I hate that. I hate it so much. You guys know what I'm talking about? Oh, hi, <laughs> Oh, fuck, I forgot. Do it again, you know. I forgot it's in English. I forgot it's English. It's really throwing me. Oh, yes, Amano? Bish. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Just let me past. I'll go clock in. Whatever. Kurosawa wants to see you. Can you, like, just go see her? Hmm. Fine. It's hard to know because we've never had, like, us as a gamer haven't had any interactions with these uh, three women before. So um, I'm wondering if we would be able to discern, like, a difference in their tone or what they're saying and figure out that, oh, they're up to no good because of, you know, what they're saying in conversation. Amano walks off. I look around for Kuwasawa. It's like the smallest fucking store. Can you even lose anyone? The stale stench of cigarette smoke eventually overwhelms the lingering scent of lip gloss. Lingering scent of... Is really that strong? Lip gloss? The smell of lip gloss? I don't think so. It leads me to her location. I'm questioning everything in this game, damn it. You wanted me? Katsuno, I need you to process a big Katsuno. refund. Don't mess it up, okay? It's for a regular customer. I think... I feel like we as Emmy should have questioned this. We okay. should... I can do that. What am I refunding? Like, how long have we been working here? There's a bunch of shirts on the counter. Just ring them up and refund them for cash. You can leave the money in the envelope under the register. Like, I thought this was sus to begin with. A bunch of shirts? Fine, I'll take care of it. Thanks. I'm going for a smoke break. Yeah. Smoking's good. Yeah. I decided to clock in before processing the refund. I won't be paid for this shift if the company doesn't know I came in to work. Oh, we're we gonna get paid at all for today? We're we gonna get paid at all? I go behind the counter and retrieve the signing booklet. I flip to today's date and fill in my details. Done and done. The shirts that Kurosawa mentioned are lying haphazardly over the counter. I pick them up and scan each one. They're not cheap. The first rings up at 11,000 yen. Uh, I think I looked that up and it's like 120 AUD. I'll let you guys convert that to whatever currency you fancy because I'm not doing it <laughs> and the next is 13,000 there are six shirts all up each one a little more expensive than the last they don't look worn and the tags are intact why aren't we questioning this at all this seems so sus like unless there's some this is something we do regularly like there are a lot of refunds that we have to process like why aren't we questioning this I don't understand is this like our first week here I'm supposed to ask for a receipt or proof of purchase before making a refund, but the customer is obviously not here. So we should have said something about that, right? We should have said, no, not doing it. We don't have the... I suppose, um, Kuwasana, she like the, um... Ah, uh, crap. Because she's like a senior... Senior position or something? She's above us? So maybe we can't question her? I don't know. Besides, the request came... Okay. My superior. Ah. Oh. Got the answer right there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I can't exactly refuse. There we go. The refund goes through the system successfully and the cash drawer opens up. I count out the correct amount of money in 10,000 yen bills, then pop an elastic band around the cash and put it in an envelope. I also print a copy. Copy! What color is that, guys? Red? Is it red? I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm just thinking about all the colors I look at for work I'm like is that actually like Fanta red I, I don't know <laughs> job done I slide the envelope back under the register and lean against the counter surveying the store I can see that there aren't any customers around it's still early in the morning after all we don't usually get much business until around lunchtime I hover around the register for a while biting my nails and staring at the clock to pass time Kuwasara eventually returns from a smoke break. Half an hour must have passed by now. Who does she think she is? You finished Man. that refund? Yeah, I did it just like you said. Okay. Okay. She rummages around underneath the cash register and pulls out the envelope stuffed with cash. Her fingers flick through it quickly, counting each note, and she nods as though satisfied. 
Why aren't we sus about this? Good work, Katsuna. I'll pass this on to the customer next time they come in. Hmm. Is it, is it because she's our senior that we're like, oh, we're not questioning anything? Like, we're not even thinking it, though. That's the thing. We're, we don't have to convey to her our concerns, but we're not even thinking, hey, this is kind of odd. No problem. Anyway, I'll take over the cash register for a while. You want to go tidy up stock? No! Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm not too bothered if Kurosawa wants to take over my registered duties. It's boring standing around. I'd much rather be doing something than nothing. As I head toward a rack of untidy jackets, Sachiko bumps into me. Sorry, I didn't see you there. God damn, she looks tired. Sorry, did she actually just apologize to someone? Sachiko, the customer abuser? Uh, that's fine. You okay? No, she looks like a vampire. I haven't been sleeping real well. I'm just tired, that's all. Hmm. Well, um, get some rest, I guess. Well, we are sweating so much. Uh, look, while I've got you here, I know I haven't really been easy to get along with lately. I've got my own personal issues, but girls. that's no reason to take it out on you and the other girls. I can't believe what I'm hearing here. Such girl is at a change of heart. So I'm resigning as of today. I don't deserve this job. I wanted to apologize and make sure there's no bad blood between us. It's weird that she's uh, saying that too. Like, considering what we know is coming, uh, I'm resigning as of today. Is that still true? Is she actually still resigning? Um, or is it just to, like, I don't know, put us in some sort of, like, false sense of calm or, or something? I, I don't know. I don't know the purpose of telling us that she's resigning, considering what they're going to do. Such God. I don't know what to say. I never expected this from you. Yeah. Yeah. If you're resigning, do you have another job lined up? No, not yet. But I need to work on myself first. I have a lot to think about. I still find it odd. I did mention this last time that uh, her voice is like really shaky, broken. Like it does seem like she's almost genuine in a way. Well, I mean... As long as you're sure about this. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into it or something. I am. In that case, then thank you for apologizing. I forgive you. I love our smile. <laughs> so anime smile. Thank you, Emmy. Well, until next time then. Yeah. Until next time. Oh, they're not going to be here next time. Sasuko takes a leave. I'm still a bit taken aback by a sudden personality change. Did I misjudge her from the start? No, that can't be it. She has a history of abusing customers and co-workers. No way I imagined all that. So we we did see all that. We did see her abusing customers and co-workers and that. Regardless, I'm actually kind of glad she's trying to get a grip on her life. I hope everything works out for her. If she's resigning today, then I suppose the only two terrible co-workers left are Amano and Kuwasara. I glance at Amano, who is standing by the door, waiting to greet customers. She has a vacant expression on her face, like always. I then look toward the register where Kuwasawa should have been standing. But she's not there. Didn't she offer to take over register duties from me? Where the hell did she disappear to? Smoking again! Or, you know, up to no good. I wander behind the counter. The register doesn't look like it has been touched out of curiosity. I slide my hand around under the register. And the cash off envelope is gone, no sign of it. The receipt from the refund is lying on the floor. I bend down and pick it up. It's a standard refund receipt stating the value of the transaction. My name! Oh, but that's a different colour, isn't it? No. No, I've got orange down. Is it a different type of orange? Oh, shit. Am I looking at different shades? I don't know. My name is signed at the bottom since I was the one who processed it. The refund of money is gone and so is Kuwasara. Did she... Uh, no, she couldn't have. Surely she wouldn't have run off with the money. No one would be stupid enough to risk their job over that, would they? Uh, there's Katsuno. You should go ask her about it. Huh? Kuwasara's still here? She seemed to pop up from nowhere. Katsuno. A word, if you please. So is he the one that um, uh, Sachiko apparently strangled or slapped or whatever it was? Ah, Hirota, the manager of the store. He normally spends his time in the office out back, so it's kind of unusual to see him here. What could he want with me? Kurosawa was tending to the register when she noticed the system flagged a large refund as suspicious. 
Do you know anything about it? The system. The system flagged it? They didn't flag it while she was doing it? Well, yeah. I processed a big refund this morning. Is that so? Do you have the receipt? Uh, here. I hand him the transaction receipt that is still between my fingers. He looks over it once, then twice, his eyebrows furrowing. This is quite a large refund. No wonder the system flagged it. Did you get approval from Kurosawa before processing yes, it? Yes, Bish! Kurosawa was the one who asked me to process it, sir. I never even spoke to the customer that it was intended for. That's not true, Hirota. I don't know anything about this refund. Oh my god. What? Where is set the up. refunded money now? I don't know. Jeez. Well, I put it in an envelope underneath the register, but... Damn. There's no money here, sir. Uh, She's lying to you. Interesting. No money to be found. And Katsuno, you're the one who signed off on the refund. That makes you responsible. How much money was it all in total? We didn't get a we didn't get an amount, did we? It was like a bunch of shirts, each one more expensive than the last or something. Yeah, I did sign it, but how much is it in total? I wanna know. To have to tell the truth, I can't remember if they tell us. Did you take the money? Don't make me get the police involved. We should get the police involved. Wait, hang on. Do you think I stole it? Kurosawa asked me to process the refund and leave the cash in an envelope. It's nonsense. That's simply irresponsible. It's not safe to leave cash out of the register. Oh, damn. But, but I feel my stomach beginning to sink what exactly is happening here. Ah, oh, shut up, bish. Why don't we know that? Confess at once, Katsuno. Damn it, I almost did the Monty Python confess thing again. I remember I did that in the other video. <laughs> I confess, not you! I didn't steal the damn money! If anyone stole it, it was that bitch Kurosawa! Bish! <laughs> That's so anime. That's so anime. That <gasps> Enough! We're not going to stand here and argue about this like bickering school children. Uh, I think we are bickering school children. We didn't know for sure that Kuwasara uh, graduated. I don't know. All her friends are still in school though. Sachiko. Sachiko. A little Sachiko. Did you say Sachiko? I don't want to pronounce it like an idiot. I'm trying to get it right. Like a serpent slinking out of the sh shadow. Sash cow slides beside Hirota. Hirota? Yeah, Sirota. Hirota. Hirota. Did you witness Katsuno take an envelope of cash from the register? Oh, yes, sir. Just this morning. She acted like she was processing a refund, then pocketed the cash. I meant to bring it to your attention sooner, but... It's your last day. You could just, you know, look away, you know? Oh. Sachko, the bitch! She hasn't changed at all. She just sold me out. And on her last day! Is it her last day? Is it actually her last day? I don't know. I don't know if it was an attempt to disarm us in a way, you know? Or was it to uh, distract us while Kuwasawa dealt with the money or something? I'm not sure. Um, curious though. Oh, I want to know like later on if we do attempt to kill these women, um, whether Sachko, you know, won't be at the store because she actually did resign. I managed to catch a glimpse of Kuwasawa smirking at Sachko. They nod in unison and giggle. You guys are being so obvious in front of the manager. Uh, and he's really smart. He'll totally catch on. Are they in this together? Oh my god, we're so stupid. Are they throwing me under the bus just so they can steal some cash? I can't believe it. I'm so freaking angry. Oh my god, I'm just so annoyed right now. There you have it. A witness to your crime. Kurosawa. If you would kindly call the police. I feel like it might be better if we get the police, you know? Uh, maybe not. There are like three people saying that we did it. <laughs> That's not helpful. But they could like, I don't know, dust for prints or like... Shit. What do police do? I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. Wait just a minute! 
I scream louder than intended. That's all right, there are no customers, so we can do that. But my blood is boiling and I can barely control- I don't think her blood is boiling. I didn't steal any money. Why don't you check the security cameras, huh? You'll see that I'm innocent. Oh, but they don't work, or they rarely work, oh, or something. You know those cameras haven't worked in months, right? I suppose nowadays they're mostly just for show. Of course. If Hirota really wants me to, I could go double check it just to be sure. Though, I think that would just be a waste of time. I feel like they should, anyway. Unless she has uh, done something to sabotage the cameras like further. Like if there was a, any chance at all that they did catch it on camera that she might have turned them off or something. Thank you, but that won't be necessary, Kurosawa. Oh my god, you guys suck. Kurosawa's eyes are narrow as she gazes at me wickedly. Amano, please show everybody what you found. You got it, boss. Oh my god. I didn't even realize Amato was part of this discussion. She is leering at me disgustingly and slapping an envelope against her open palm. Found this wad of cash in Katsuno's locker out back. Oh my god. Wait, so she found it in the locker. Does that mean that anyone can access everybody's locker at any point? There is no, like, what's the point of calling it a locker if there is no lock on it? It's just a door. <laughs> I found this in her door out back. <laughs> I can feel the blood drain from my face. I haven't even been out the back today. Are they all in this against me? Oh my god. Duh. Did they plant evidence to get me in trouble? We're so stupid. <laughs> You're lying! I haven't even had time to go out back today! Yeah, how did you even get access to my door? I mean, what do you want me to say? You think the cash just appeared out of nowhere? Oh my god. It would seem all the evidence is against you, Katsuno. Uh, your tie sucks and you suck. Since we located the money, I won't have you arrested. But you will not step foot in this store ever again. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, well, your store is stupid and it smells of lip gloss, apparently. So I'm not coming back and everything costs, like, way too much money anyway. So, no, uh... You're fired. And I will make sure you never work in any of our stores again. Alright, but you're gonna at least pay me for the hours I worked today stealing your money? I gave it back. Ugh. I'm speechless. I can't even process my thoughts. Oh, I can process them for you. We're fucked. <laughs> the quiet giggling and snickering of Kuwasawa, Sachko, and Amano buzzes in my ears until my skull feels like it's going to burst. So, obviously, uh, Hirota can't hear this giggling and shit. Okay. Hirota grabs my shoulder and tries to lead me outside, but I jerk away and stumble backward. Oh my god. He grabs your shoulder. Is that even allowed? We could, like, sue him for shoulder grabbing or something, right? My back slams into the glass window at the front of the store. Thankfully, the glass doesn't shatter, but I can immediately feel a bruise forming. Like, surely we can, like, sue him for touching us and throwing us against the glass and bruising us or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I push myself forward, regain my balance, and duck toward the sliding door. See you around, Emmy. <gasps> oh, well. I guess not, hey? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. No, wait. Does she not know how to tie that tie? Maybe. I blink tears out of my eyes as I dash through the store's front door. Store's front door! My anger and fear and anxiety get the better of me, and it's a good five or ten minutes before I realize that they've been running aimlessly, that I've been running aimlessly throughout the shopping mall. I reach a hand to my eyes to wipe away the moisture and take a deep breath. I look around, trying to get my bearings. Oh, we're about to meet our new best friend! The escalators, at least I know where I am. I need to sit down and compose myself. If I don't calm down, I might be tempted to return to the store and start punching those three absolute assholes. With my head down, I blindly charge toward a small seating area. <laughs> Watch out! Ah, the question mark! I collide headfirst with somebody in front of me without thinking I scream out in anger. Watch where you're going! Oh, we're such a bitch. Like, seriously, we're such an asshole. Oh, sorry. Aww. Wait, this girl- wait, girl! Girl. For I know her from somewhere. Oh yeah, <laughs> we went to the same school and we graduated a year ago. That's right. So what, we're probably like 18 or 19? I don't know, how long do you go to school over there in Japan? 
Um, but we can't remember this person. I don't know. Katsuna? Is that you? Huh? I know you. Have we- Yes, of course. We graduated from senior high school together. Remember? Oh, she's so cute! Did we? Yes, apparently. Senior high school was more than a year ago. <laughs> I still don't get this. <laughs> How could you forget? How can you- I don't know. Is she that forgettable? She's so fucking cute. Feels like a different lifetime. How does she expect me to remember that? It was a year! A year ago! <sighs> she reminds me of Armin. <laughs> From Attack on Titan. Yeah, you're Sato, right? Aoi Sato? Aoi. 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 Can I remember how to pronounce that? You guys will have to, like, remind me in the comments if I forget. Uh, or I'm just gonna call her Armin, okay? Because, like, she reminds me of Armin. Like, even has, like, a similar haircut, so... That's me. You do remember. It's Armin. I'm gonna say Armin. <laughs> well, kinda. Sorry. I've had a crappy day. I just got fired, so I'm not thinking straight. Oh, are we gay? You got fired? I'm really sorry. Um, you bumped into me pretty hard. Are you hurt? Oh, you bumped into me pretty hard. Are you hurt? Oh, Armin! Always thinking of other people. I'm fine. Are we gonna- do we apologize? Armin, I'm so sorry I bumped into you. Armin is rubbing her arm tenderly. I figure I must have injured her, but I'm really not in the mood to stand here and apologize. I'm like, Where's such a fucking bish? Honestly, oh my god. What does it say on the, the signs back there? I'm trying to read it. I don't- I don't know enough kanji and I still suck at, um... I have to go. Excuse me. At, a uh, katakana. I have to go. I fucking apologize to Armin, seriously. Oh, um, okay. Oh my god. I push past Armin, unexpectedly the shy and spineless girl grabs my arm and stops me from leaving. Leaving, did I say? Her group is surprisingly strong. Okay, girl, we got another one. That's five guys. Five girls. Five girl. Katsuno, you said that you just got fired. Is that true? Wait, yeah, I'm pissed off about it. Ugh. Tell me what happened. Why are you so interested? Do we think Armin has ill intentions? It's fucking Armin. I just thought maybe I could help us all. Oh. Whatever. You can't help. Some bitch set me up. She stole a bunch of money and made me take the fall. I think I think we can come to the conclusion that it was all three of them, right? Or do we suspect that Kiwasara is the brains behind the entire thing and the other girls were like, yeah, sure, why not? I'll get in on that. And then one of them's like, I'm resigning today, but yeah, I'm totally up for this shit. I feel like they were all in on it together, right? I don't know, whatever. I, I don't know what they gained from it, honestly. As I said in the last one, I'm like, is it shifts? They just want our shifts or something? Like, what do they gain? Like, aside from just being assholes in general, there must be something that they, something else that they gain, right? They want us out because why? They get a new person in? I just feel like if... I just feel like being an asshole to us is like... It's something that they do because they're so fucking insecure and they need to beat us down so that they feel better about themselves. Then why get rid of us? Because they might end up hiring someone who's like able to stand up for themselves or, you know, won't take their shit or whatever. Um, or might treat them like shit. So I, I, I don't know. I'm wondering what else they gain from it. Maybe I'm thinking way too much about this, but whatever. <sighs> I see. Yeah. Are we done here? Can I leave now? God, don't be mean to Armin. Sorry for keeping you. Armin is a hero. Yeah. Okay. Once again, I tend to leave, but Armin's next words managed to catch my interest. You know, if someone got you fired, there is a way you could get revenge. Doesn't the music cut out here? No. Revenge. What is this girl on about? Girl. Girl. Is that fucking six? Does she have some way for me to get back to Kurosara? What am I thinking? I can't even step foot back in the store. My chance to get any kind of justice just doesn't exist. Revenge? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. <sighs> oh, hell no. You're not going cold on me now. Tell me what you meant. Oh, um, and don't tell us anything. Oh. Okay, but let's talk quietly. I don't know. I don't. I don't really 
buy this whole thing. I'm wondering if Armin is like the person behind Corpse Factory or um, who is Corpse Girl. It's Corpse Girl, right? Is the name. Um, it's just kind of weird that someone, I don't know, like I can imagine that someone who's been like bullied like so consistently um, would want to get revenge on someone. But I don't know, just the way that she's speaking about it, just so fucking calm and soft and sweet and talking about murder. <laughs> I don't know, there's something so unsettling about it that I'm wondering, um, is she different to how we're seeing her now? Is she, is she Corpse Girl? I don't know. There may be a way for you to get Here we go, that's where the music cuts. You fired. Yeah. Have you heard the rumors of Corpse Girl's website? Hmm. Like, I don't know. Because we, we've never heard of it. Sorry guys, I'm just writing it down. Uh, we've never heard of Corpse Girl. And, I don't know, you'd think something like that, similar to like in Death Note, would spread and everyone, well, most people would be aware of it. The fact that we don't know anything about it at this stage is in a way fishy to me as well. Um, and that we're hearing it from Armin, of all people. I don't know. I don't know. Then again, like, um, is it possible that um, the girls in the store, if they knew about it, would they use it on us? Would they try and get us murdered? Does that mean that they're better than us? Because I suspect that we will indulge, that we will check out this website, and that we will kill. Um, does this mean that those girls are better than us? Or is it just that they don't know about this website or this rumor? I, I don't know. I'm Corpse thinking way girl? too much about it. I'm sorry. Who is that? Corpse Girl twice? Sounds like some death metal band. Nah. No. Armin um, ignores my comment and continues on with her speech. She's like hosting this site or something, or she's a developer. I don't know. They say that if you visit Corpse Girl's website, Three. you can request a death. Ha <sighs> ha. So innocent. Request a death. What is this girl ranting about? Murder, obviously. Jesus Christ. We're so stupid. We're, we're, we're nothing compared to light, honestly. Hang on. Start over. I'm I'm completely lost. How? <laughs> she, like, explained everything quite clearly, right? Armin frowns, a look of annoyance on her face. Say somebody wrongs you, and you want to get revenge on them. Hmm. Go on. Rumors state that you can visit Corpse Girl's website and fill out a form in order to request a specific person's death. I, I want to know more. I want to know more. We're going to learn more, of course, but I want to know, like, what exactly is on this form? What do you need to do? Do you need to show a picture? Do you need to think about the person, like in Death Note? Do you need to visualize them? I don't know. This is Corpse Girl. Damn, again. She, like, a hitman or something? It's Armin. It's gotta be. No one knows the truth. All I know is that her victims always receive a photo of their own corpse before they die. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. Photo and corpse. Photo, why is she? Ah. I don't know, guys. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? We've got quite a few that are in purple. How is that possible? I'm totally reading way too deep into this. I don't know. I, I've been wanting to use the website for some time. There's somebody, somebody that I'd be happier without. But I'm not brave enough to go through with it. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like we're going to have to see Armin again. And I, I, I don't know. I feel like she's got to have a bigger role in this than what she's making out at this stage. Like, I feel like she's got to have some sort of direct relationship with Corpse Girl, um, or is Corpse Girl herself. I don't know. It's kind of something random that you would talk about to a person who doesn't even remember you from high school. Um, I wonder if we bullied Armin in high school. Because we barely remember her. We're like, oh my god, it was like a year ago, or high school. Um, I wonder if we bullied her. And maybe, um, maybe, maybe the somebody she'd be happier without is us. 
That'd be an interesting twist. It's like Armin is actually trying to... I don't know, maybe this is a perfect opportunity. Maybe she's been watching us for days, weeks, months since high school ended. Who knows? And she's trying to figure out whether, you know, we're worth killing or not. Whether we deserve to die, whether we deserve to live. That would be a cool twist. Still, I want to know if the rumors are true. If you use the website, you could tell me if it works or not. Nah, I'm in you're behind it. This whole thing sounds sketchy. Risky. Are the police gonna come get me if I go on this website? Uh, incognito? Can we do that? I think I said that last time too. I, I've got no idea. Hmm. Well, thanks, I guess. Damn, Armin, you're so cute. I love you. Armin doesn't make a further attempt to stop me when I turn on my heel and walk away. I don't know what to make of her suggestion. Can such a website even exist? The ability to quest a death. To quest a death. The ability to quest our deaths just sounds so unbelievable. And yet... Ah! I find myself unable to get the possibilities out of my mind as I make my way toward the train station. Corpse girl! Ah, again! Six times a website tailored for revenge. I could dob in... Oh, yeah, dob. I don't know why the word it just sounds wrong. Dob in Kuwasara Sachko and Amano. Um, how would that work? We have no proof. We have absolutely no proof of what they did. If I could remain anonymous, then no matter what happens, whatever fate befalls those girls, I it couldn't be traced back to me. Um, girls, okay. I start to wonder if ordering the deaths of a few girls simply because they got me fired is a little extreme. Yes, it is. Although they're not exactly saints, they're closer to human garbage more than anything else. Damn, dude. Wait, are we gonna, like, get... We're gonna think we're God? I don't know. Like, surely someone's gonna come after us, right? Um... So apparently... Okay, so apparently Corpse Girl, or at least the website, it's not so big of a rumour or so big of a thing that um, we know about it or whatever. Um, but there's gonna come a point that um, people are dropping like flies or whatever. And, um, you know, maybe we killed the wrong person and they've got a sibling who wants revenge. And maybe they know we're behind it. I mean, we're just going to be putting a mark on our back, right? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. They've always been hostile toward me. I'd probably be doing the world a favour if I had them all killed. <sighs> I'm wondering if they've got, you know, we find out that they've actually got hearts of gold or something. Yeah. Hmm. You know, when, like, someone... I mentioned this before, like, we've all got uh, different fronts, we all have different masks that we wear and stuff, you know, it could be that they're actually really kind people, whatever. Maybe we're the bish. Maybe we're the awful person. I don't know. I don't know, guys. If they screwed me over without a second thought, who knows what they might do to the next unsuspecting victim. Again, death not justified. <laughs> Yeah, killing all three of them is the right thing to do. Removing them on the planet will prevent them from hurting anyone else. Oh my god. <laughs> Zero to a hundred. Real fast. My heart begins to race. Oh, finally, we're caught up, guys. We're caught up, finally. The trip back to my apartment is boring. The train carriage is nearly empty, save for a few junior high school boys and a couple of women in business attire. Women. Again in purple. Why? Hmm. I think I... Did I make a joke about these uh, junior high school boys and them possibly being friends with Kuwasara? I don't know. <laughs> I have a few seats all to myself, so I sprawl out. Sprawl out? You mean like man-spreading or something? Or are you lying down? That That's shitty. That, that's kind of shitty. Even, even if there are like seats available. I don't know. I don't do that. Like I might put my bag down next to me. But if the train is starting to fill up, I'll move my bag onto my lap. But I won't be, like, lying down or man-spreading or anything like that. I don't know. When I feel confident that no one in the carriage is watching me, I decide to search for Corpse Girl's website on my phone. What, we Google it? Okay, that's, what, seven now? Seven Corpse Girl. I don't exactly know how easy it would be to find. Maybe I should have asked Armin for the address. Yeah, maybe we should have. Well, a quick search shouldn't be too hard. I begin to type. Corpse Girl's website. We didn't say that. Why didn't we say that? 
I'm running out of room for my tallies. A few results pop up on my screen, but none seem relevant. There are links to funeral services and anime fan sites. Oh, Death Note, I reckon. But nothing really matches what I'm looking for. Maybe this was a bad idea. I should probably delete my search history. Yeah, you should do that. I think they can still find it. Like, the police can still find it, even if you delete it. Maybe just one more search. Did you search corpsegirl.com? Did you try that? Corpse girl request. Ah, uh, oh, are we saying this aloud? Are we saying this aloud, like in the first scene when we were just talking trash about our colleagues? My phone seems to lag for a few seconds as the search is submitted. Then a fresh list of links appears. The top result catches my Im eye immediately. Oh, what is it? Corpse girl, revenge at your fingertips. Oh, oh no, my pen. I got it, it's cool. This must be it. I click the link and the website loads immediately. Oh, nice. <laughs> God, her hair is long. Ooh, what is this? What does it say? Corpse Girl's website, Revenge at Your Fingertips. They're like a cheerleader. Hmm, request a death. Fill out your victim's information, upload a photo of them. Ah, your victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Oh, I wonder how like quickly they die. Is it like is it like a death note? I wonder, like it's within a certain time, or can you request a time that they die? Watch out, don't be an idiot and enter. Okay, the website is simple. There's a freaky little dancing girl. Cheerleader. Cheerleader, right? Girl. Yeah, I'm getting these down, sorry. At the top of the screen, who looks too happy to belong on such a site. The whole site is really basic. A small blurb of text office instructions. Request a death. Fill out your victim's information and upload a photo of them. Photo, again. Your victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Why am I taking note of this? Like, honestly. Watch out. Don't be an idiot and enter your own information or you will be cursed. Cursed. Cursed to die. What the hell? What do you mean, what the hell? Like, it's exactly what Armin described. Are we surprised that it's true? Or are we surprised that a website exists? Is this site actually for real? Uh, maybe? I don't know. We gotta try it. So let's put our name in it. <laughs> I start to wonder if I should go through with this. There's very little useful information on the site. Hmm. I mean, it does say requested death, but come on. Is someone actually going to go out and kill the person I choose? And how on earth can someone receive a photo of their own corpse before they're actually dead? That just doesn't make any sense. But you're in a game! You're in a game! It's going to make sense, right? Okay. <laughs> well, what is that? My heart suddenly skips a beat and I nearly drop my phone when it buzzes at me. Oh, thank God. It's just a text message. Uh-huh. What's 30% off on that door there? 30% off hair? Weeks? I don't know. Uh, what does that say? Oh, man. I, I can't read the kanji. Oh, fuck. I suck. But that says what, like rust, rest, lust, toll? Oh, I don't know. An unknown number. That's never a good thing. Oh, yeah. Could be spam. Wait a minute. There's a photo attachment. Oh no, someone's like killed us. I hope Armin put our name in. <laughs> photo. Okay. Six times, man. Who would be sending me a photo from an unknown number? My curiosity gets the better of me and I open the message. Oh, dick pic, I bet. Ah. How did she get our number? Huh. Kurosara, you freaking bitch. Um, well, we could probably use this as some sort of evidence, right? Right? Can we just give this to the police or, or give it to... Because why would she be holding on to it? was uh, Hirata like, hey, put this in the register. And she's like, okay, hang on, i got to get a selfie. You want to get the lighting right for me? I knew it. I knew she said, oh, for fuck's sake, come on, it was obvious. And Amano is such co on it too. Why are we coming to this revelation now? It was so obvious. Oh my god. They made me process a fake refund to cash out of the register. 
so that my name would be on the transaction. Wait, wait, name, name. And all for what? A bit of cash? I'd have to- Oh crap! I accidentally skipped forward somehow. I guess rolling the mouse wheel does it. Kurosawa, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! Uh, I don't think someone deserves to die over that, but whatever. A few of the junior high school boys nearby look at me with worried expressions, but I don't give a damn. You don't care that you said in public that you were going to murder someone? You named that person? There are witnesses? we got motive. Um, <laughs> I'm angry. Oh, is she? Huh. I'm furious. Kurosara is going to pay. Oh, did you have to say going to pay? Did you have to say that? <laughs> I closed Kurosara's message and returned to Corpse Girl's website. Oh, we're stupid, aren't we? We're going to do it immediately. And, like, they're going to link it back to us, surely, right? How long have we been recording for? Fuck. I might have to end it soon, guys. Oh, what does your only do? Half an hour, but... I also wanted to catch up and do a bit extra as well. Corp Scale. Crap, did I get that one down? Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. How many is, how many is that, guys? <laughs> it's clear what has to be done. Uh, report it to the police. I'm going to request... Oh, for fuck's sake, we're so stupid. I read the website's instructions one more time to make sure I haven't missed anything important. So we're going to send that photo that she just sent us. Right, okay. Enter the victim's phone number. Phone number? Photo of the victim. Interesting. We need to have their phone number and a picture. Huh. Well, that's just convenient that we were... But do we have their phone number? It says unknown number, right? Or is it a number that we don't recognise? So we do have the phone number because, you know, when it just comes up with unknown number or, you know, doesn't give you the actual uh, figures or whatever. Um... Interesting. It'd be it'd be a really interesting twist if the Corpse Girl website was somehow run by the police or the FBI. Like it wouldn't make any sense. They'd have to they'd have to show some deaths or something. Unless they somehow faked them. And this is just a way to catch people who are like unhinged or, you know, uh, who are wanting to murder and stuff. I don't know. That would be cool, maybe. <laughs> oh, we haven't got the light maniacal laugh. We don't have it. I can't believe it. Kuwasara just signed her own death sentence. She sent me a photo of herself and her phone number was included. Ah. It was included with the message. Was it? I didn't actually see on the picture. Maybe it was in there? I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. Photo. 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 I got that down. Completely unnecessary, I'm sure. I fill in the phone number and upload the photo. My hand's trembling the whole time. But do we request a time? Or does it just happen immediately? My thumb hovers over the submit button. I feel a chill down my spine, my face turns pale, and I immediately feel cold and clammy. How do we know our faces turn pale? Do we have our camera on? Is Kuwasara really going to die if I use this website? Or is this all a sick hoax? I run through the possible outcomes in my head. <laughs> First possibility, nothing happens, and Kuwasara is none the wiser. Second possibility, Kuwasara gets pranked by whoever is running this website. Maybe the administrator gets a kick from tormenting people? Kuwasara might just receive some spam texts or something like that. Mm. Third possibility, Kuwasara dies. She gets murdered, or some elaborate scheme is concocted to make her die accidentally. My lips curl into a frenzied smile. I like the third possibility the most. Damn, dude, we're an awful person. Just gotta say, we are an awful person. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not to say, um... <sighs> It's not to say that like I wouldn't be tempted by it. I think I could be. I just I don't know anyone that I hate enough to do that to. Maybe people that I'm like distanced from don't know personally, like just bad people in the world. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to know unless you're in possession of it and you have that sort of godlike power, how it will corrupt you. Um, like in Death Note. Um, which is, uh, if you haven't seen or read Death Note, seriously fucking do it. Oh my god. I slam my thumb down and smash the submit button. Yeah, slam a thumb down. How do you slam your thumb down? I feel like, you, can you even slam it down on a touchscreen like that? You probably accidentally hit something else and you have to press it again. 
Sort of like in Fry and Futurama, when he has to hit that button and he misses and <laughs> has to do it again. <laughs> Prepare for the end, Kuasara. Right, and we just got people witnessing us saying, I want you to die, Kuasara, the person I was working for. Ooh, June 12th, Friday evening. You know what, guys? I might have to end it there. Oh, I might have to end it there. I think we're running over quite a bit. Um, but yeah, damn, this is getting really good. Um, I can't wait to see what happens next. Um, I'm guessing Kuwasara dies. Um, I would, I want to know more about how this works. As I said, I want to know, like, does it happen immediately? Does it happen within a certain time? Um, like, she didn't mention anything when she was filling out the form, whether she had to pick a time or a day or anything like that. But I'm curious about how it would work. Um, and it seems you can't pick a way that they die. Um... Which is interesting too. So do they all die the same way? If you, if you, you know, 50 people are, are, are written down in the Corpse Girl website, do they all die the exact same way? Because that would be really suspicious. You know, like the heart attacks, of course, uh, in Death Note. I'm going to be comparing this to Death Note the entire time. Just warning uh, and spoilers, of course. Just, just fucking watch it. Please read it. Whatever. I don't care. Just do it. And I'm talking about the anime, of course, not the live action. Don't watch that. If you plan to watch that, at least watch the anime first. Okay. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much to my patrons who voted for this game. I'm so glad it won. I'm so glad it won. I did enjoy the other games. Phasmophobia, not so much. Um, but, you know, I might come back one day and play those other games. But I'm so glad that this one won. This one just seems so fucking intriguing. I am hooked right from the get-go. Absolutely. So I want to give a shout out to my lovely patron. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You're keeping me going. You're keeping this channel going. I love you guys. If you would like to become a patron yourself, check out the link in the description below. Uh, I'm not sure how long this game will be, but after I finish this, I'll be doing another selection of games for CAD screens. So if you join a tier, any tier, does not matter which tier, you can vote to force me to play a scary game. So, and if you've got any suggestions for what I should play next, hit me up in the comments or hit me up on Patreon, wherever you feel like it, Twitter, I don't care. Um, yeah, can't wait. If you like this video, please do like and subscribe if you're new channel. It really helps me out. It really does make a difference. Hit that bell so you get notifications for when my next video pops up next week on Saturday for the next edition of Cad Screams. I cannot wait. Oh my god, I cannot wait to see what's coming. So until then, please do have an amazing day slash night slash whatever and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.